my God, is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge and my savior from violent people. You save me. Hi, my name is Sobatir Hena. I'm here with my two colleagues, Caroline Hanna and Lina Shalvi. We're here to cover the demonstration that's happening in front of the White House. I'm here with Abuna Moises from St. Mark's Archdiocese Church in New Jersey. And Abuna, um, can you tell us why you're here today? We are here to express our anger, to express our uh, dissatisfaction for what happened to our brothers and our sisters in Maspiro. We are so angry, we are so upset about what happened. And um, what are your expectations out of this demonstration? Just we want to raise our voices. Just we want to say to our brothers and sisters in Egypt, we feel for you. We are here because we, um, we have experienced your sadness, your grief. So we share it with you and we pray for you. When you go to say, I'm sorry, to in any funeral, you are not uh, requested to raise the dead, but you, you are speaking with the family saying, I feel for you, I'm here because I sympathize with you. Um, do you think that Christians in Egypt should continue their demonstrations, or do you think they should just uh, rely on God and just pray? This is a tough question, but in my point of view, they should continue with their brothers and sisters, the Muslims, the moderate Muslims, because I still have hope in the moderate Muslims, and I say to them that you have to speak out now, because it's a tough situation. It's like you, you are cooking the dough. So if you will cook it, try it, you will eat it, try it. If you will cook it wrong, you will have trouble in your stomach. I'm here with Father David from St. Mary in Baltimore. Um, why are you here today, Abuna? Here to support the cry of the Christian people for peace in Egypt and for equality to both Christian and Muslims in Egypt. What are you expecting out of this demonstration? We're praying that we'd create awareness, that people would truly see the situation in Egypt for what it really is, and that from the understanding of, of, of what's going on in Egypt, that they would take an action, and that people would, would really move towards um, helping Egypt get on the right path for equality towards you know, all their citizens, both Muslim and Christians. How did the congregation in the church react to this? Of course, everyone was very saddened by what had happened in Egypt. Um, but, you know, as a Coptic Christians, we are no stranger to persecution. And this is not the last event, and there will be others to come. And we need to prepare ourselves and to know that as Christians, just as Christ was persecuted, so will we be persecuted. But, you know, if we can prepare ourselves and be proactive instead of reactive, then we will deal with with the future events that come and we have a better chance at you know preventing future events like what happened to come if we're proactive instead of reactive i'm here with abuna dumedius from st mark optic orthodox church abuna why are you here today um, we are here today just to ask the lord to give us his support his peace in this difficult situation support to our families in egypt and we're asking him, with all our, the members of the Coptic Orthodox Church in the United States, to give uh, the peace and his mercy especially to our land, Egypt, and to support all the Egyptian, the Muslims, the Coptics, and especially uh, our relatives there in Egypt in, in this very difficult situation for them. Can you tell us why you're here today? I'm here because my brother, my family is in Egypt, they are suffering from persecution. And um, what are your expectations out of this demonstration? Really, we have to let our voice heard by all the world. I'm expecting that at least the White House will uh, feel that there's some problem going on in Egypt, and then they have to uh, do something for this. Do you think that the Egyptians in Egypt, that the Christians should keep demonstrating and um, keep doing the protests or should they just rely on God and pray to God? I mean relying God on God and praying to God, it is very important but at the same time it should be supported by 
making an action. If we are not demonstrating, if there is no people killed in Egypt, there will be no prayer. So this works with the prayer too. Can you tell us the reason you guys are here today? Uh, we're trying to let everyone know that we're not, that, like, everyone's killing um, everyone in Egypt and our churches are being burned. If you were in Egypt at that time, what would you have done? Um, I probably would have protested with my brothers and sisters there, stood by their side, because we're all Christians and brothers in Christ. Anthony, why are you here today? Because the repeated crime against minority in Egypt, especially the Christian. And are you expecting anything big out of this demonstration? It's not big. We have to, to come now to the uh, Americans. I think this, this administration of uh, Obama and the previous administration do not really care much about minorities and the welfare of other people outside the United States. Nowadays, they don't even care about welfare of people inside this land. Uh, they're trying to switch the Constitution on us. They're trying to make it it's okay for crime to happen and take place. And I think we have to put a stop today. Today I'm here because I want to talk to my fellow Americans. I want to tell them what happened outside the United States. It's just a repeated scenario of Taliban and bin Laden. And it's going to reach here. Maybe not today, but definitely tomorrow. And um, are you expecting like a huge impact after this demonstration today? The President of the United States, as far as I think, he didn't even condemn what happened. He didn't come on television and say how United States administration will have insight of what's going on, give feedback, give cooperation to, to the, the SCAF, the Superior Council of the Armed Forces. Unfortunately, we are paying our money, the top dollars that we pay to the tax, to fund those people. Unfortunately, we're not even stopping and negotiating why these things happening with American weapons. We built weapons to defend our land and our allies. But today, the allies of the United States are criminal and the United States participating in this crime. They have to put a stop. I think I have no, nothing to say to the administration of Mr. Obama. I don't think I have to say any to anybody in the Congress on in power because those people are using their all power to stay in power. They don't care about me and you. I think I have to talk to my fellow American. There is crimes. And these crimes, we are funding it. We're becoming part of it, whether we like it or not. And I don't like it. And I'm here to say I don't like it. That's as a part as an American. As an Egyptian, I see innocent people are being killed because they are protesting. And they want to have equality. They want to have justice. That's what the United States Constitution stands for. That's, it's our fight in here and it's our fight in there. We need to bring human to a different level. We believe in equality and justice. Uh, we're here to uh, protest what's going on in Egypt and we need the U.S. to wake up and really interfere with what's going on because it's really sad that um, the very basic human rights aren't being met for these people. What about you? We're here to support our uh, Christian people in Egypt uh, and tell the government to be fair with everybody. What are you guys expecting out of this demonstration? Um, I'm hoping that our voices are heard and that something gets done because there's been too many events happening within such a short amount of time and we really need the U.S. to do something, to put pressure, to um, release funding, do something. Um, so can you guys tell us why you're here today? Um, well, we're pretty much here just to protest, to kind of give Obama a wake-up call and tell him that what's going on in Egypt isn't okay and that things need to change. And he's giving money to the military in Egypt and look at what they're doing to, with the money. They're, the really horrible things are going on in Egypt and it needs to stop. What are you guys expecting out of this demonstration? Um, pretty much for Obama to just stop sending over money and the, to do like a thorough investigation of everything that's going on over there because it's just not right. Like they're peacefully protesting, they're not doing anything wrong and they're getting, they're getting really like injured and hurt and killed for doing stuff that they should be doing, be able to do regularly like, on a daily basis. Like it's their freedom to do what they want without hurting anyone. And I think that at least like, like some investigation will start out of this, hopefully, like something. Would you guys like the 
Coptics in Egypt to continue their demonstrations or should they just stop and rely on God and just pray? Well, definitely pray. Prayer is the most powerful thing, but definitely don't stop because stopping, that's throwing all their work away. They need to keep going for the people that died doing, like, for God. So they definitely need to keep going. I'm here today to demand an independent investigation and in the crimes that happened in Maspero and other places um, for peaceful demonstrators. I think we need to find out on an international level what is happening to them. I'm here today to support my families and friends in Egypt. Um, I'm also here today to raise awareness of um, the U.S. supporting the military in Egypt and to get people to just stop it, hopefully. What are you expecting out of this demonstration? Um, I'm hoping to raise awareness so that people will complain more um, and they'll stop using our tax dollars to basically kill our families in Egypt. They're supporting the military over there and it's not right what they're doing to us. If you were in Egypt at that time, what would you have done? I would have just prayed. That's all I could do. Just pray. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield, the whole of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge and my savior from violent people you save.